You know, we just have to live with it and sort of be who we are and stay who you are mm. and have confidence in who you are and hope things will pass like a bad cold, you know, and a runny nose and a cough and you go, this too will pass. And I, I think it's going to pass all of it. I do. I just think it's an extraordinary thing to have gotten this far in our life and you're a mother, you know, and I'm my age and Davey said, I mean, did we expect this? Oh, oh Moses. <laughs> I mean, I'm still in shock when I go, who's lying now? You know, and it, it could be, it could be a husband. <laughs> it could be a producer. It could be, it's just, it's an enormous way that the world has changed and the world has changed. There's no two ways about it. What are we going to do? How do you change it? How do you, you just got to go with it in a peaceful way and not get too excited, you know, like Jane Fonda, calm down, <laughs> you know, the activism is, is important, but you know, it, it, sometimes I don't know that it changes anything. I don't know. Mm. I'm just not an activist. You know, I did this thing on voting, please vote. It's a privilege. Know that if you're an American, they want your opinion. Your opinion means a lot. It's true. It's yours. It's private. Do it. Vote. It's one thing America offers you. You're an American. But, but I'm not going to say, don't vote for this. Vote for that. I mean, I'm not an activist. And, but yet I care actively about that, you know? But I can't get crazy. I won't. So I think we just sort of adjust as best as we can. And... I don't know, this little black musician once told me, you're too nervous. He said, you're like a fart in a fry pan. He said, you got to learn how their life is flowing and glowing. So every time I open a Broadway show, Susan, I write on my mirror floor and glow. It's become my, um, my, my, if I write a book, which I probably will not talk by way of life, but I thought I'd just write it flow and glow. <laughs> it was the best advice I ever got by. You're too nervous. You're like a fart in a fry pan. He said, you, you got to calm down. And I, I'm not even going to tell you what it was all about. But anyway, he was backstage and there he was. And he was just a magical character. And, uh, and I think that's the way we have to do it. Uh, don't you? I mean, what are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, I mean, how are you handling it? Same way I'm talking, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a writer, and I just finished a 600-page uh, book about the St. Olaf Band, which I've sent out to David. And, he was, oh, my. and, and he I don't need to say anything more. 600 pages? Has, what am I talking for? He has accepted that, <laughs> uh, you know, he's given me uh, <laughs> uh, some very nice comments about it and so forth. But this is a time when it's hard for promotions, you know, and stuff. And so that has been uh, a bit of a problem. It was came out last December. Um, and uh, so I've just, and I've just had a, a few comments, uh, the Minnesota Public Radio just did a feature on it and so on. So how, how, long, did, how long does it take you to write 600 pages? To oh, well, I had a co-author and we wrote the history of the St. Olaf Band and uh, it took us three years. Three years? <laughs> yes, interviewing, oh, at, uh, interviewing a lot of the, of the people who were musicians and uh Fortunately, I had the band, uh, current band conductor to uh, talk. Well, to. come on, then the secret is write a, write a book with 600 pages. That's how you get through the it. Is, yeah, you do, what, you do what you do. And, you know, David is still composing. And uh, he, the, it has changed what you had planned, David, for this 90th year of yours, of course. But now you're doing uh, something very interesting here with the Zoom, you know. And as you said, you've been able to reconnect with Brenda in this way and so forth. So that's that. Well, thank you for asking. Anyway, Brenda, I get to uh, mention my book. <laughs> oh no, I'm so glad, honey. No, that's good. I, I, you know, don't waste your time. Someone who wrote 600 pages deserves to talk. Absolutely. We have, a, we have another question. Thank you. That was so beautiful, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then it pops up really quickly on the screen. So please unmark yourself and ask your question. I'm not sure whose question it is. I believe we had a hand up. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes. You can't see me. This is Nelson Harrison. Hi. Hi. I've really been enjoying all of this. I had a, just a quick message. Uh, I heard you talking about Richie Cole. Huh? And 
I, I it just thrilled me because Richie moved. To, I'm in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And Richie Richie moved to Pittsburgh. I know. Uh, to be with his granddaughter, and we were great friends. We played together a lot. Oh. And um, so I operate the Pittsburgh Jazz Network. And I just sent David on email uh, Richie's um, obit and uh, lyrics to a song of his that I wrote and a picture of the two of us together. I just sent it to David. Maybe you can share it with Brenda. Yeah. And I, I wish he would know how, how well you thought of him And because uh, he just left us a few months ago. I know. I know. David thinks he, was it May? Because I, I didn't second. hear about it. Yeah. It was in May? Yeah. I heard about it from Brenda. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, but I think someone called me late. Yeah. You know, anyway, I was hor horrified to hear he asked. And because um, I just talked to him not long ago. And he was just brilliant. He was brilliant. He was an innovator. Brilliant. And Wasn't he, did he, a lot he, of, an he did a lot of recording um, in his last couple of years. He was coming up with a new CD every time he turned around. So he must have known he was ill. And he got as much recorded as he could, he but he was made. such a yeah, he was such a great guy, and all the musicians here have loved him. So, I loved him. Yeah, and it's it's nice to hear you talk about. It. Thank yeah. you. That was so beautiful that you could connect together on that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. We are actually honoring the, the passing into the light of Jack Kerouac. Um, which was on the 21st of October in 1969. And I have my Van Halen shirt on for Eddie Van Halen. And to hear you both mutually speak about your friend is so beautiful. And now we're going to have Jim Canary do a stanza of a poem. And then beautiful Brenda is going to read some Kerouac while Norton paints. And the beautiful David is going to play. And then we'll come back and say, see you next week after that. I can make one request to Anthony. Anthony, <laughs> the first time in your career you heard someone say, please turn my volume down so that nothing that I do steps on the words of Jack Kerouac as read by Jim and by Brenda because they're precious without the music. I want to play with Jack. I tried to accompany the music that was already in the words and not wreck it. Thank you. Action. Are you ready? Well, I, I'm going to read an excerpt from an interview with Jack that was done by Ben Hecht. I want to speak for things. For the crucifix, I speak out. For the star of Israel, I speak out. For the divinest man who ever lived and who was a German, Bach, I speak out. For sweet Mohammed, I speak out. For Buddha, I speak out. For Lao Tzu and Chuang Tzu, I speak out. For D.T. Suzuki, I speak out. Why should I attack what I love out of life? This is beat. Live your lives out. No, love your lives out. Thank you. Brenda, it's you. Action girl. David, this is for you. How do I do it? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, oh. On the roof of America. Okay. At night, in this part of the West, the stars, as I had seen them in Wyoming, are big as Roman candles and as lonely as the prince who's lost his ancestral home in journeys across the spaces, trying to find it again. So they slowly wheel through the night. And then long before actual sunrise, the great red light appeared far over the dark, bleak land toward West Kansas. And the birds took up their trail above Denver. I wondered what the spirit of the mountain was thinking. And looked up and saw jack pines in the moon and saw ghosts of old miners 
and wondered about it. In the whole eastern dark wall of the divide this night there was silence and the whisper of the wind except in the ravine where we roared. And on the other side of the divide was the great western slope and the big plateau that went to Steamboat Springs and dropped and led you to the eastern Colorado desert and the Utah desert, all in darkness now, as we fumed and screamed in our mountain nook. We were on the roof of America. And all we could do was yell, I guess, across the night, eastward over the plains where somewhere an old man with white hair was probably walking toward us with the word and would arrive any minute and make us silent. There you go. I like that poem. It's beautiful. I thought at first it was too masculine for me, but now I don't think so. I feel like I can read it. Thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> mood you create. And anything you do, it's a beautiful mood. So much heart. Anyway, I love it. Thank you, Brenda. Pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Norton. Thank you, James, Doug, everyone that came on our show. Sweet. Good. Bye, darling. I think David's going to play us out. He's got a few words. He's playing. He's playing. Okay. <laughs> bye, Pam. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Lovely. And bye, Anyone's going to fall in love with you that, that gets to know you. First from your work keep and then from who you are. Keep painting, y'all. <laughs> keep playing. Keep painting. Keep loving. Keep, keep glowing, Brenda. Glowing and flowing, baby. Blowing and flowing. You're like a fart in a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. I love that guy. Big lesson. That Thank was a big lesson. Bye, Susan. Oh, Davey's singing to you. Good luck with your book. Yeah. Your readings and your commentary was out of sight. <laughs> And we must have practiced it up subconsciously because we knew that we would get it right. Go for it, baby. have magic to miles. <laughs> Mr. Miles. Oh. Are, we, are we done yet? <laughs> Good night, David. We love you. Good night, Good David. God Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Just You're terrific good. as always and always will be for all the people who are listening, Jim Canary and Pamela and the great Anthony de Marvier. And all the request making those hey. gorgeous paintings. What a joy, spontaneity here, and creativity is here. We're here, and we ain't gonna go away. 